We've been talking to folks from a number of film festivals, and that's great. But now we're going to hear about a festival which actually includes some festivities. Woo! It's the Sheshe Festival mm -hmm. NYC, celebrating the customs and culture of Yoruba land, aka Nigeria. It's taking place this Sunday and features a procession through the streets of Bedford Stuyvesant. They've got mm -hmm. some live music, guest speakers, and food. And guess what? It's free 99. Mm -hmm. That's free. But why limit Sunday to one celebration? Every year, a concert called Libation opens up the International African Arts Festival, and our guests, two of the headliners, are going to tell us about both of these parties. Blitz the Ambassador is a hip hop artist originally from Ghana. Welcome to BK Live. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much for joining us, and we want to welcome back Chief Ayanda Clark, a drummer and key member of Asase Ya African American Dance Theater. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. So tell us what the purpose of the Isheshe Festival is. Well, the Isheshe Festival is a celebration of African spirituality um, as expressed by the Yoruba in South or Western Nigeria. But Isheshe is more than just the culture of, of, West, of Yoruba land. Yeah. It's the culture of all the Afri African diaspora. Everywhere we go, everywhere African people traveled, they took with them a piece of cultural DNA mm -hmm. and they dropped it there throughout the diaspora. So Isheshe Festival is a celebration of that spiritual energy that exists all throughout the African diaspora. So in Isheshe, NYC, uh, we are processing through the streets of Brooklyn, Bed-Stuy, um, in celebration of that of that cultural heritage. Um, and it's, it's a place where everyone can come and, and celebrate. Uh, religion doesn't matter. Um, it's, we're all connected spiritually, and it's a celebration of that spiritual connection. Yeah, we got a Ghanaian That's ready right. to celebrate mm -hmm. some of the yes, traditions mm -hmm. of Yoruba land. Yes, so, yes. what are you prepared to bring to the party, Blitz the Ambassador? Well, I'm, I'm fortunate and blessed to be one of the musical guests. Um, I'm there with my band. It's a six-piece band. Amazing energy, horn section. We blow the roof off. Big sound. Yeah. We blow the roof off. So, but for us, it's also, like he said, the continuity. You know, being Ghanaian, born in Ghana, but lived in Brooklyn for over 10 years, mm -hmm. for me, it's about that hybrid. And so it's, it's very important that we bring and, and create that cross section sonically um, for the audience. Chief Ayanda, you'll be yes. with. Asasaya. I'll be with Asasaya okay. at Libation. Okay. Uh, Asasaya at Libation. There's a continuity between both events. So mm -hmm. the Isheshe Festival will begin at Asasaya Cultural uh, Center okay. in bed -Stuy, and will process from there. And Asasaya organization uh, is going to be performing at Libation, okay. uh, which is okay. the opening of, of the International African Arts Festival. So while there are two different uh, events, they are culturally connected. Um, and so Asasaya is proud to be um, part of that. That, that continuity. And so Asasiya African American Dance Theater will be performing at, at Libation. Now, we've been lucky enough to have some of the folks from Asasiya here, including some of the shortest, most competent dancers that you will ever see in your life doing the thing live. But tell others what they can expect if they haven't been as fortunate right. to see those kids get down. Well, what, what Asasiya does is Asasiya represents the, um, the cultural uh, power of the arts, mm -hmm. of African arts. And so, uh, Asasaya, uh, we're celebrating our 16th year this year. Uh, so we are sweet 16 yeah. this nice. year. And what you'll experience with Asasaya is, is, is the vibrant energy that, that comes from, from Africa, um, as, as expressed here. In, in Americas and in the diaspora. So again, we're talking about that that um, cross cultural uh, um, connecting a connection, yeah. and we really want people to to know that Africa is is the spirit within us. Mm -hmm. It's with, is the spirit within us. So whether you are born on the continent or whether you're born here, we have within us that that same uh, spiritual DNA. Does some of the festival end up being religious, or does it feel religious because it's well, so a, spiritual? Great. So there's a there's such a big difference between spirituality and religion. Um, for for us, uh, music is spiritual. For us, uh, dance is spiritual. For us, uh, breathing and walking through the streets, we are spiritual beings. And so we we um, are more connected to the spiritual component and less to the religion. We're not controlling people. We're not trying to direct people or, or proselytize. We want people 
people to come as you are mm -hmm. and to bring who you are. Because if you bring your spirit, we'll bring our spirit and then we connect spiritually. So I want to go to you now. You've been in Brooklyn for at least the last 10 years. I wondered how that has influenced your artistry, you know, and everything that you brought here, how that cross-cultural thing happens just within yourself that you're able to project it. Well, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I grew up, um, hip hop has always kind of also been the strain that's connected us. Okay. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's been cyclical from the continent, transatlantic slavery to the Caribbean, to DJ Cool Herc coming from the Caribbean right. to the Bronx, mm -hmm. and then kind of returning to me in Accra, where, you know, I'm listening to Big Daddy Kane, I'm listening mm -hmm. to KRS. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to Tribe, all these people who are, in a way, ch trying to find their way back. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so me coming to Brooklyn was almost a pilgrimage for me. Mm -hmm. um, I always wanted to, I moved here, and, and I also felt that the culture also, you know, it took root in the city, right? Mm -hmm. So there's certain things that you can't get anywhere else. So it, it was a huge step, but also very fulfilling in terms of, then years later getting to play with Public Enemy at say summer summer stage right. and kind of they were on my wall growing up in Accra, you know. So it, it it's been for me almost unbelievable, you know, to to come to be accepted into the culture but also then to take it back home in a way that, you know, connects us. And he was talking about this cultural DNA. And I think that um, I'm definitely living proof of, of that, where the sound has amalgamated from the percussion sounds that I grew up on in Accra to beat machines in, in, in Brooklyn, then to kind of bringing it all together, and here we are. And you right. said you use a full band. Do you ever use both the beat machines and I, the band? I, or? I do. I do sometimes. Sometimes I have a DJ in the midst, you know, which adds another element. But when I produce as well, it's always, I mean, we sample, then, you know, we put a Cora over it, we put djembes over it. So it's, it's very cross-pollinating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us specifically what libation is, what that right. means to you, and how that makes us different from other festivals. Well, libation is the opening of the International African Arts Festival. So the International African Arts Festival will begin in July, but this is, to, this is the primer. This is what piece people gets people ready for um, that experience. And um, libation is, is uh, because it is, happens right now, in the beginning of June, when the weather's changing, when it takes us back to those classic Brooklyn festivals where, we're, where the people come out sun shining, we're getting into that summer feel. So this is a time where we, who are preparing for the African Arts Festival and preparing for the summer of festivals, mm -hmm. uh, where we celebrate African heritage and culture, uh, libation is a first, a kickoff event. So whenever we start an event, whenever something happens of importance and significance uh, within Africa, uh, libation is poured, a paying of homage and a giving of thanks, a cooling of the earth and preparation for all that is about to take place. So that's what this event is. Libation is the letting people know, putting the universe on, on notice that it's about to go down in <laughs> And speaking of the universe, we know that this is an African-centered uh, festival and it's open to everyone, so all the white folks who found their way to Brooklyn and Bed-Stuy, come out, meet the neighbors, embrace. We're very welcoming people. Just because you're African, it doesn't mean it's not for you. It's for all of us, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So in our last two minutes, we're just gonna ask you what we're gonna be feeling a week from now when the thing is over. What do you guys both want people to walk away with and get charged before the big festival kicks off in July? Well, hopefully um, people walk away from the Isheshe Festival, um, which, which will begin, again, will begin at Asasaya uh, Cultural Arts Center uh, at 11 a.m. with a procession. Uh, we hope people begin with a paying homage to the ancestors, mm -hmm. right? Those that have come before us, those that have, that have paved the way for what we do. And by tapping in, I use the analogy oftentimes of a tree. Uh, and, and we know the tree, we see the bloom, the blossoming of the flowers, we see the leaves. What we don't see are always are the roots. Mm -hmm. And when we are connected to those roots, uh, we see the power of the roots that allows that tree to blossom. Mm -hmm. So when they leave Isheshe, they should feel uplifted and connected to their roots. So that when we go to libation, we go and we party, and we go and celebrate, we're connected to our ancestors and those that have come before us. That's right. And we know who we're preparing for and with and libating for and with. Absolutely. Blitz, you were going to say something? No, I was going to say, I mean, I, I, I kind of echo the same sentiments. Um, I feel like um, 
it's it's the beginning of, like he said, all these th great things to come over the summer. And um, we want people to get ready for it, to tap into it, um, to also, you know, recognize. I mean, I'm from Ghana, which um, is also central to this event, um, being that we are celebrating our 60th year of independence, mm. the first in sub-Saharan Africa to be independent, mm. um, laying a foundation for several Af other African countries to be independent. And that's also kind of central to this uh, this event. Um, hence, Asasiya, Blitz the Ambassador, that Ghanaian connection, ancient yet modern, yeah. you know, all, all in the same. So we're hoping that people also get to understand, one, Africa is not a country, <laughs> right. which um, <laughs> a lot of us mistake that as. It's not a country. Several, um, several um, countries on that continent, you know, several histories, several um, independence movements, and um, I'm just here representing one of the first, and um, we're, we're really blessed and fortunate to be a part.